friends and, and very good this time I, I have decided to use the idea of the multi level inheritance into something like this so so i have designed a question like the tom has a rectangular iron sheet of some dimensions he molded it into a box shape now he wants to electroplate it at the rate of dollar 20 per meter square he also wants to know that if he put the box into the tube what part of it will be submerged in that liquid so the case goes like that first tom has a rectangular sheet definitely it must be having some dimensions like length and breadth then the tom molded it into a box shape means the shape of the box might have become like a cuboid like this and here when it has become the cuboid the prominent features it has got as volume and the surface area here the prominent features are the perimeter and length of diagonal that I'm going to call it as LOD and then area now when he puts that box into liquid so you know that there is a term called law of flotation based on the Archimedes principle that if this one goes into the water then the water will exert a thrust onto it and if that up thrust then up thrust is the weight of the displaced liquid and then we will have to find the mass of this one block and then with the help of mass we can find the weight that is W equal to mg and then the weight will tell you that by what force the gravity or the earth is pulling it down and then the up thrust will be that like suppose the what part of the liquid will be displaced when this object of a particular size try to get into this liquid it depends on the density of the liquid like you know that if you take the liquid as water then its density is 1.0 gram per cc and if you take something like the mercury which is a metal and its density is roughly 13.6 gram per cc and the density of the iron is because the sheet is made up of iron this is 7.87 7, that I'm going to round it off to 7.9 gram per cc so using these features I will work on this now I have created a uh, if you will see in the part one then you will find that we have created a class rectangle that can be the Tom's rectangle which has the length and breadth then when the tom molded it into a box definitely it can be of shape cuboid or cube so this one is my this is the tom's cuboid you can say now if we use the idea of density then we can get our job done so i create one more class where i'll be passing density because you know that the mass density equal to mass upon volume or mass equal to volume into density so mass volume our function already was able to calculate we need mass so we will just feed the density so this is what we are trying to feed so again i'll take one more class where the input will be density and i can use this class as a multi-level inheritance at the same time I can use the same technique to solve this question also. So the question was designed so that I can implement the multi-level inheritance and this is an interesting catch. Now let's begin coding for this. So here I go and create one more class and I call it flotation because it goes like flotation. So flotation check now this class will have 
density as variable and you see that the density is coming in decimal so i'll go for double double density then with the help of with the help of public constructor like first i have my default constructor public rotation check and there i will put super means all default constructor from here i am invoking the constructor of the cuboid class because this class extends cuboid class and the cuboid class as you already know here it is that the cuboid class extends the rectangle class so when i invoke this super with this cuboid class then this one will be invoked and this at the same time invoke the super of the rectangle class and this will be invoked so the length breadth height will all be set to zero and here i put density also to zero okay now i go for constructor parameterized just i copy and paste and take these values as int a comma int b comma int c and then double d so with the help of super i will pass the a b c so super a b c and then i attach or you can say assign density d the small d to density d now it is done now we need to find out that what will be the mass so the public volume volume public double mass and mass means return volume because you see this this class volume this is giving you the volume of the cuboid so return density into volume so now this one is returning me the density i can make it private because i don't want it to be called from somewhere else i will create another class that will be public public double weight and weight you know that the mass into density so i write return mass we we'll just call this function mass from above and since i am calling the mass function from the body of the floating check a uh, flotation check class so here you see that this one is in the same class that's why i don't need any object i can just directly call it by its name along with density and then mass into density sorry i don't need mass into density i need mass into acceleration due to gravity so let me introduce one more variable i'm going to call it as final so the public final double small g that is the gravity which is on earth is roughly 9.8 in si unit so now i'll use this one as g static say this class is final final keyword means final means this variable is a constant like this is already assigned small g is a variable which has been assigned a value of 9.8 and this function this value definitely will remain 9.8 nobody can change it because this is final it's just like a constant so if i know the weight then i can find out that by what force this one is getting into this now we need to know that if i put this box onto the water then its weight 
and the volume means what part of volume this one will displace like the law of flotation says that if the whole this whole block gets submerged into the liquid so we need density of the liquid also so the density of the liquid so we can calculate up thrust so i go public double up thrust for up thrust i need the density now up thrust is the weight of displaced liquid now weight of displaced liquid means first we have to know that what part of the this one will go down and depending on what is the weight so if you assume that the whole of the block or the box have been submerged so it will displace the volume of this own size so i'll say that the displaced and then here it will be the volume whatever is the volume of the box it will be assuming that it is displaying all that into this i multiply it with the density of the liquid so again i can take one more here variable and this one i say density of liquid suppose if i take mercury so it's 7.9 okay and uh, 7.9 into dl that is 7.9 so this will and uh, now it has become the mass and this one is uh, gravity so the volume into density this is depending on the, this is giving you the mass of the liquid displaced and multiplied by g it will become the density of the displaced liquid so now we have the weight of the box and then we have up thrust so now if up thrust is more it will be floating and this we have to find out using the application so now this part roughly kind of done now i go back here and then at the same time i stop this one now i create the object of floating floating check fc equal new floating check and then i pass the dimension suppose it is 12 meter 8 meter and 6 meter okay and one more we need the density of iron that is 7.9 so 7.9 now with the help of this i remove all this thing then we need some double value double weight of box equal fc dot weight and then i need another variable double up thrust this is up up thrust i am just trying to up thrust is fc dot up thrust now if double sorry if weight box is greater than a thrust it means the object will sink so here i write sinks else else 
this one floats okay now let me run the code and see the results 12 8 6 and 7.9 See what it says it floats now if you want to know the weight of the box then you can write weight of the box plus weight box And then here a first equal to plus a first. This is just for simple understanding because our liquid right now we are taking as mercury and it has definitely the 13.6 even much more than the density of the uh, iron also because iron density is 7.9 gram per cc so that's why this difference you are observing and uh, here now I feel that instead of this I just print it here because based on the if else condition only one will be printed and this is just we are understanding we are programming along with little example of this one then we need to be a little more sure that how to see the results so the first we see a thrust okay now you see that the weight of the box in air is 44,593.92 kg and the up thrust is 44.993 both are oh, where is the mistake uh, trust this is density then what is happening in a trust in a thrust O, we need to take the help of DL and DL is 7.9. Oh, for mercury, it should be 13.6. 7.9 is the density of iron which we are inputting while making the constructor. Now it's see up thrust is much more and it floats. Suppose if I make the density of water as now here are some problems. Some problems like the dimensions what we are taking in. We can take this dimension as centimeter 12, 8, 6, 7.9 all are in centimeter. That will be better. And uh, density of the substance is also in centimeter. One more thing you need to understand that if this is a cuboid, this is molded, is not made out of this, just it is made on the basis of this, like so that the length and the breadth of this one remain same and height. And this is a solid iron block. It is just no, never ever think that this is a hollow empty box, this is solid iron box. Or you can say that this is the sheet and then with the sheet he just made this cube wall box like this so we are our core emphasis is on the uh, java in multi level inheritance rather than here this part is wants to recuperate is 20 make it a centimeter square uh, and the dollar two so dollar two centimeter square then when you are finding out the surface area of this much then you just create one more class and then you can name it as cost 
cost and now we need the surface area of the cuboid so this is s area into this is dollar 2 so this will return a value that will be the cost of painting now okay this is cost of painting and this one I can write directly FC dot cost so painting this part is done here okay now one more thing in the question you saw that this is saying that what part of it will be submerged in that liquid this part right now I'm omitting because this needs uh, great calculations and the video will become unnecessarily very long because it is depending on and you have to know a lot of physics for the center of gravity and then the up thrust like what part of the liquid means if only 30 percent of the liquid is sufficient and uh, to balance the weight of the substance that's why it's removed it because our, uh, we will be drifting from the programming to physics and uh, here I in this one I just want to make this density of the liquid as 1 gram per cc means I am just assuming this is just water then you see it will sink because iron solid iron block is too huge so I mean to say that literally that everything is programmable but you should have the pure uh, the clarity in your mind that what exactly you want your program to do and thank you very much now in the next video we will discuss about multiple inheritance